you know. All right. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to the March 1st, 2023 Salary Commission meeting for Snoqualmie. I am Jennifer Bragg, the chairman of the commission, and both commissioners Michael Erisman and Graham Ross are present today, uh, Michael uh, online. Um, first on today's agenda is the public hearing. And today we are inviting comments from the public as part of the review of the salary and benefits for Snoqualmie's, Snoqualmie's elected officials. Um, those wishing to speak uh, uh, must sign up and speakers will be called upon in order uh, according to the sign up sheet. Uh, if there are any online attendees, uh, please raise your hand if you're wishing to provide public comment your name will be added to our signed up sheet. And we will thereafter uh, alternate speakers by calling one person from the in-person sign up, followed by one person online. Um, please, um, in making comments, direct those comments to the commission as a whole and not to individual members. And also please note that this is not a time to ask questions of the commission or engage in debate, um, the commissioners will quietly and respectfully listen to your comments. Um, you will have three minutes to speak, and uh, we will advise you when you have 30 seconds left. All right, the time is um, 2.03, and uh, I will now open the public hearing. Uh, when called upon, please state your name and your city of residence uh, for the record. Are there any speakers? And there is no one online. Okay. All right. We have come to the end of the list of speakers. Uh, and so the time is 3.04. <laughs> and I will now close the public hearing. Okay. The next item of business is approval of the February 22nd, 2023 meeting of the commissioners. Uh, do any of the commissioners have any comments on the uh, minutes? Okay. Um, if not, I have I have one question. Uh, my recollection is the phrase "fair and certain" in the minutes. I believe that that was your comment, yes. uh, Commissioner Ross. Uh, you said "fair and certain," and I believe the minutes say "fair and some other C okay. word." <laughs> so, I will make the adjustment. Okay. All right. Uh, so I comment on that yes please the the fair and certain was a quote from the uh, code of washington as to the task for uh salary commissions okay and it was just sort of an odd use of language certain uh but that's what it said okay um all right and uh if there are no more oh look here it comes I thought that was his Commissioner car. Harrisman. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. I'm stuck behind the uh, railroad crossing there. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> the media today, too. That's strange. Um, actually, Michael, we have finished the public hearing <laughs> portion okay. with no comments. So, no and comments. now, uh, do you have any uh, any corrections to the minutes? I do not. All right. Okay. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of the February 22nd? Uh, 2023 meeting. Uh, I submit that emo that motion to approve. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. All those who approve say aye and aye. 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 And there are no nays. The motion passes unanimously. Um, there is no new business. Okay. All right. Um, I believe that uh, the uh, the, at this point in time, there are two paths here. Uh, we can continue our uh, discussion of the um, mayors and the elected officials' benefits and salary, um, or we can, if preferred, adjourn for more gathering of information. Um, what's the feeling on that? um do we stay on you know with for all to a so private meeting because it's 
Is it open? Finance, finance is all open. Mm -hmm. So I think I think the, is the uh, is the question: Do we have more discussion or data, or are we comfortable with the recommendation that's been made? Is that the question? Yes. Is is there time? Is more discussion, and is this the time for more discussion, or does there need to be additional data? I reviewed all the content. And I'm comfortable with what we've come up with. I'm not sure if any other data out there is available that would be relevant since the last time we looked at it. What are your I, thoughts? I think there's, we need a lot more discussion. Okay. And I've gathered the data uh, that uh, informs my, my, my result. And there are some additional um, studies that I've read uh, that I'd like to discuss within the commission before we make a decision. Yeah. So do we need one more meeting, do you think, or two? I think we can do it one more? Oh, I would, sure, absolutely. Yeah, okay. and I guess at this point, um, uh, the additional data, uh, can we make it available to everyone? What you have in mind specifically, make it available to everybody and then set a meeting date um, perhaps a week from today or a week from 10 days from now? Do we already have you know, a, a date set after this meeting? No. Okay. Yeah, I would, I would think that would work well. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, well then, a week from today? I'm actually not available on the 8th. Okay, let's see. Can we do a oh. different day next week? Sure. Yeah, I'm traveling the following week, but next week is fine. I can make any day work. How about Tuesday? So I'm not good on there. Tuesday or Friday of next week? What time are you thinking? Our normal two. Two o'clock? We could do two, Tuesday at two. Tuesday at two. Right. Is everyone available? Yep, can make that work. Okay, so that's Tuesday the 7th mm -hmm. at 2. And then before we adjourn, I actually have one question, Dina, that you might know the answer to or could find the answer to. Um, the, uh, I had read, I guess, in the minutes of the last salary commission that um, and, and again, in our discussions, uh, that um, no elected official is eligible to participate in the, the health insurance plan um, unless 50% of the elected officials participate in the plan. Uh, we're talking only about health insurance, and my understanding is that was a rule of the provider. Um, would that apply uh, to the mayor or can the mayor be distinguished uh, and then the, because the council members uh, will probably never be 50%. Uh, um, I'll have to look into that. I have, I saw that as well, but that's not what's in the code. Not in the Washington code as opposed the, to the municipal code. Snoqualmie municipal code. That's not what the code says right now. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Uh, so, but that would be a matter of the provider. <laughs> Because it's supposed, uh, what I've read is that that's the provider's rule. Right. I don't know that you have to put that rule in into your decision, but I can look into that. Is that a, in, in what was unclear to me, whether that was a cost factor from the provider or it was, you know, like a lot of organizations have part time, full time, and then they have to determine who's eligible. Was it simply a matter of not having enough hours to qualify? Was that the issue? Not for health insurance. Okay. No. So if we, one of the things that we had on the table was to eliminate the FTE mm -hmm. status for the mayor, right? Which would then eliminate that sort of technical part-time um, label that that role has. Right. So that then would open this role up, you would think, to be eligible for benefits. 
unless as you're as you're describing it would also apply to the council members who would never be other than anything other than part time so that's a good question well in support of, of that position too the definition of employee the mayor meets the definition of the employee and therefore i would think would be subject to the same benefits and the same qualifications as standard staff well they're elected officials so they're i think they're looked at differently um that would probably be a legal question um whether they get benefits or not is whatever the commission decides and gets put into the code and that's what would be right what they would get yeah the irs and and the state of washington rcw says they are employed they can be employees the mayor but like i said before i'd like our legal department to sign off on that because that's just my reading of it okay and can i make one other request and suggestion to my fellow commissioners please that the january 23rd january 2023 study done by gov hr be made available to the commissioners and the second thing to be available is the contract of the city administrator and that informs a discussion we're going to have the next time is that possible well the study is a public record it's been included in um, agenda packets for the council um, i i thought i did provide that last week you did to me oh okay i can I, certainly yeah, provide I it I, I don't know if you've received I, it i don't believe so okay mike i don't mike. believe so i'm looking at the notes okay but it's possible okay you did send it and i didn't see it and that's why i came back to you and said where where is it that was a little snafu with the computer my computer so did have you received those or yeah, do you I now have. okay yeah i can send them mm -hmm. okay but it's germane to our next conversation all right, and then that should, I think, complete the data gathering at that point. I think and so. And that is just yeah. processing mm -hmm. that and being ready then to make a decision. A recommend, uh, final recommendation. Next Tuesday. Okay. okay. Okay, does anybody have anything else? Um, let me quickly get my notes. Oh, uh, another question on eliminating the uh, FTE equivalent status for the mayor. Uh, wouldn't we do that for the city council as well? It seems like kind of a uh, nonsensical. I'm not sure why that, we've ever done FTE status for either the mayor or the council members. I didn't think the council was on an FTE. It it is, yeah. At least so what, it's a one yeah. point oh. Something like that's very really low. Yeah. Is that a or is it a point five? No. We know? No. In fact, it's hard to tell from where you see it recorded whether it's all the commissioners together or commissioners yeah. individually yeah. yeah so i just thought that, you know just do a clean sweep yeah. and eliminate that fte concept for both all right and that's that's all i had uh, so if there's no further discussion then um let's adjourn the meeting at 2:15, um and uh we all will reconvene next tuesday which will be somebody help me march what uh seventh march 7th, 7th yeah. at 2 p.m yeah all agreed agree agree okay. all right thank you everybody do we, do we want to have a specific agenda for that meeting